This is CNEagles.com and the Richard Moody Show. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head men's and women's soccer coach Richard Moody. Richard, congratulations. Last time out, a couple of big 3-1 victories over King University for both your men and women. What's coming together for both teams? Ah, well, we're scoring goals, which is a good thing, and we're <laughs> conceding less than the other teams. Uh, uh, you know, but that, we're, we're doing well. You know, we've had a lot of injuries on the men, and we're a little bit upset. But at the same time, you know, something, everything happens for a reason, and, and we're, we're, we've got good depth on the men this year. Um, but, you know, you hate to say if we start losing anybody else, so now we're, we're, we're really going to start struggling. But, uh, you know, we've got good depth, the boys look good, and, and we put together a great team performance. They're working hard in practice, and, you know, we've, we've, we're, we're three and two, and, and the two losses that we've had this year, the boys are really working to try and fix those problems and are curious and, and want to learn, and they're eager to, to, to get better and, and play good soccer. And, and, you know, so if anyone was at the game last night, I think they would have got all of those things. You know, the boys played fantastic, and we were able to put a team away in the first 45 minutes. Same thing for the girls. You know, we, we came out flying, and we... Uh, we've got three goals uh, again on the road. Um, you know, with the girls, it's a little bit different. We need to try and focus more on on just scoring goals. It's something we've struggled with uh, versus conceding goals. But uh, you know, both teams look good. They're both starting to play well together, and uh, we're really excited about going into Saturday. How important are wins like that out of conference to set you up for a feisty pair of Brevard teams on both the men's and women's side? Uh, it's a great question. You know, we tell the kids, and they always want to know what's the importance and how does this game affect them. But uh, every game has a great deal of importance, and whether it's just you know righting the wrongs or, or you know playing well, and uh, you know it's the, the King game was a regional game for us. Um, uh, you know, right now we don't have any teams that are receiving votes, but uh, for us it's, it's obviously a huge motivational uh, experience here. If, if we can go on the road, score three goals with both teams, and and play attractive soccer. So, you know, heading into Saturday, I think it was very important. You know, we, we have a checklist for this week and we, we said that we need to pick up two wins on both both programs and start our campaign in the conference for the boys and keep going strong with the girls. And, uh, you know, I, th I hope we do just that, but, you know, we're, we're very humble and, and we know Brevard is a great outfit this year, especially in the men and the women have, have made some drastic changes there. So, you know, we're gonna have to work hard to, to get the wins as you do in every conference game, so. Goalie play has been big for you this season against some defenses that have let shots through, but both uh, Rumwald Lake Wavell for the men and Tiara McKenna, Katie Hill for the women have saved a boatload of shots, both ranking in the top uh, tier of the conference. What has what's, what the play in that meant for your clubs? Uh, well, we don't, we're not all as fortunate. Uh, as Carson Newman, have a great SID like you, but the stats are not really a fair representation uh, of, of shots and saves. I think that the accuracy of, of those results, there's no real validity to it. But uh, with all, you know, with that being said, we still have some fantastic goalkeepers. Um, you know, Romuald Legoville was voted the best in the conference last year and uh, unanimously, and, and that was in amongst some quality goalkeepers. You know, I would even extend my argument to say he's, he's one of the top in the nation. Um, but, you know, I think on the women's side as well, we're very fortunate to have three very good goalkeepers and, and uh, you know, Tiernan McKenna right now is, is the one that's kind of leading uh, the way between the sticks and with our wealth of knowledge and experience at playing at the top level, you know, even with international soccer, it really, uh, it really shows in the games, you know, and so it's good, you know, Katie Hill's just a freshman, uh, we've got Kendra Ivins there that's now a sophomore, and they're all feeding off each other and getting better every day in practice, but, you know, we, we have some, we have a f fantastic goalkeeper coach with, with Francois Dubardot and he works uh, day and night with them, getting them better, you know, so. You talk about a freshman in Katie Hill. That's a freshman who, in the games that she played to start the season in place of Tiarna, who was out with an injury, fifth in the nation in saves. I mean, what's that say that you got a player that can come in and make that level of an impact? Ah, uh, well, it speaks a lot about our staff. You know, we, we, we recruited specifically certain players this year and tried to make things better. And, we, you know, we're hoping that Katie's going to be the – the player that steps up between the sticks for us when Tierna graduates. So, you know, she's a great kid. She's from a top level. She can, uh, you know, she played with Farragut High School and they were competing at the state level, state level winning uh, top trophies, you know. So she's come from a good level of coaching. She's come from a good background. Uh, more importantly, she's come from a competitive program and knows how to win, you know. And so all those things and all those ingredients make for, for a fantastic young uh, athlete. So we're, we're excited about the future for her. And, uh, you know, the best thing about her is she's just eager to learn and, and, and that's, you know, she's very coachable, so. On the flip side, Ross Frame comes in for the men. He's making an impact putting the ball in the back 
of the net. What's standing out to you about his ability to score goals? Yeah, well, he came in with a pretty impressive resume. He's, uh, you know, he, he led the country in goals uh, from where he transferred from. And so, you know, I mean, for me as a coach, I'm thinking finally, you know, I mean, he's, he's had chances, he, but that, that's the problem with, with goal scorers, uh, you know. Ross is the type of kid, though, if he misses a chance, it doesn't, it doesn't beat him down. He's just going to keep hunting around and fishing around. And, and when the next one comes, he's going to take it, you know. And arguably, he had the chances uh, had went in against Catawba. You know, we honestly stood there at the end of the game thinking, how did that happen? You know, we had so many chances and uh, uh, just unfortunately, he was, he was just very unlucky. But, uh, you know, he responded well yesterday by scoring two. And, uh, you know, that's what we brought him here for. And I, I think he should be one of the top within the conference. So, you know, we're only five games in, so there's plenty of time for him to make the, uh, to, to make, make an impact on the conference. So, Richard, pleasure as always. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Carson Newman, head men's soccer coach Richard Moody. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is CNEagles.com.